for the first time last night, the three judges, guys, I'm talking about DJs, so say she, she, um, Obi, Asika, guys, for the first time, all three of them in the same manner with the same words, they gave the first most shallow criticism to Beyonce. And I was wondering, like, what happened? What went wrong? Where are those familiar? Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you have evolved. Oh, you have grown. We love your growth. Oh, you are having fun on the stage. Oh, you're my daughter. You're my princess. You know, I love you. I'm rooting for you. Where were those sweet words? I was really, really shook yesterday. I was shook. Yesterday, Nigerian Idols got their top seven. And um, as usual, just like I expected, um, another amazing singer did not make it to the top seven list. I'm talking about Daniel. And we know what happened. Beyonce was the first person to be saved. Hooray! Now, guys, listen. Um, do not look at it as I do not read your comments. I actually do read your comments. And I got a lot of feedback from the last review I did on Nigerian Idols on my channel. And a lot of you gave some very, very apt explanation about this whole thing and a lot of you actually said that oh it's not just about the judges and all of that it's also about the people voting people are voting with sentiments nigerians are sentimental decision makers and i totally agree with that and i also saw it from another perspective that okay fine because the judges were not very very professional from the audition process because the judges were not fair from the auditions process you know so of course as expected Nigerians are going to start building their own camps and like, okay, because the judges did this, we too, we are going to vote one person, even though the person is worthy or not. We just want to do this thing and shame the judges, that kind of thing like that. And a lot of you actually said so many things and it actually made a lot of sense. And I want to say, hey, thank you guys so much. You know, I always say it on my channel. I do not know everything. And that is why I always leave the comment section open for everybody to air their own views. And I really enjoyed reading the bulk of your comments. Moving on to what happened yesterday. Daniel's elimination from the show, guys, it probably could have been the sentimental voting process from a lot of the viewers. And um, guys, that does not dispute the fact that the judges did not have a hand in this entire mess that we are seeing right now from the get-go because if they had done the right thing then we will not even be having this kind of conversation but guys that is not where i want to place my energy on this video i want to place my energy on the amazing contestants that actually delivered excellently let's start with francis how many of you have seen the growth the changes amazing fantastic changes in francis performance guys Francis has evolved. Francis has grown. I remember the first time he did his audition and of course his voice texture was just second to none. Quite different, rich baritone. He knew how to utilize his voice. But one flaw that Francis had from the beginning was um, his intonation, his pronunciation of words. And these are very, very important elements in music. If you do not pronounce words correctly, it might make you miss a note. Yeah, and so I noticed that this is something that Francis has been working on and thankfully the judges have been criticizing his performance as well, just as the other contestants that are really, really good on the show. And so Judah has been working on himself back to back and yesterday's performance was simply mind blowing. I was really, really amazed. Now moving on to the next person that <laughs> this person cannot just disappoint me for one day. I, I have not seen the day that this person is going to disappoint me. I'm talking about Faith. Woof! Wow. The thing I like about Faith and his performance, guys, because this guy he is just an entity in himself and his performance is an entire, an entire show on its own. The thing I like about him and his performance is the fact that he is good. When I say he is good, he's one of the best on the show. The guy is a very, very amazing, great, fantastic singer. He has a very, very unique voice for a male singer. But one thing about him is he never allows the fact that he's good to get into his head. So for every time that he comes to perform on the stage, you're not seeing the same old, same old thing that Faith normally does. You're not seeing the usual. You're seeing something entirely different. You're seeing someone utilizing that voice that he has, that gift, you know, to fashion it into something entirely beautiful, different, and fresh 
for the audience. He never disappoints. And that is one thing that just makes me fall in love with his voice every time he graces the stage. And moving on to the next person, let's talk about Emmanuel. <laughs> I had to quickly rush Emmanuel, you know, to the top. I don't want to talk about him as the last person because he was the last person to perform yesterday and he gave us amazing, amazing performance just to end the night. Listen, if you had seen Emmanuel's performance last week, I think I was one of those people that did not really like it because the guy was trying to bring on his sexy element and it wasn't really working for me because I just felt like, dude calm down you should have just brought your original so what's all this shaky body whiny body like earthworm <laughs> Emmanuel performed yesterday and i saw growth and listen guys this is the thing that people should be looking out for in competitions like this can we just for a second quit being sentimental because guys to be honest these contestants, they are growing. In fact, they, they are taking a lot of corrections. They are putting a lot of work into their performances. You know, Emmanuel's performance of last week was horrible. It was horrible. The guy was just all over the place. He was trying so hard to be sexy and it wasn't really working at all. He was my least favorite performance for last week. But yesterday, Omo, this guy Vexo, I think he just came with the, 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 the attitude of we die here today and he finished that performance and he was enjoying the song he wasn't trying too hard to be sexy he wasn't trying to be like the original owner of the song he owned the song he gave us a lot of amazing improvisations and his smile it exuded all the confidence that it lacked in his last performance. So kudos to Emmanuel. So Kingdom performed yesterday and I was in my house. I was begging Kingdom. I said, Kingdom, please come and break my heart for free. Break my heart. I will not curse you. I will not be upset with you. I would be pleased. In fact, I will remove my heart from my chest. I give it to you. Say, Kingdom, scatter it. Scatter it. Lord, Kingdom performed on Break My Heart by Tony Braxton yesterday and... I just told myself that wherever Tony Braxton was, she would be so proud. Tony Braxton has this texture in her voice that sounds husky, that is so powerful, that is filled with a lot of soul and life and depth, that it is sometimes difficult for just a, an amateur singer to pick it up and do justice to it. But Kingdom did justice to it yesterday. His voice, and for a guy, Oh my lord, I was so, I felt, I felt Kingdom's performance in every fiber of my being. That guy gave that song to us, not because he wants to break our heart, but because he wants to mend our heart. And I think that was what he did. It was just so heartwarming. I was watching him perform on the stage. I was mesmerized. I had goosebumps all over my body. I was just watching Kingdom and I'm like, guys, this guy needs to go far. In this competition he was one of the best performers last night hands down another mind-blowing performance from last night was from the amazing the ever versatile akuna akuna's performance yesterday threw me into a big well of emotions guys i was simply simply amazed as to how someone with that texture of her voice is able to combine some elements of African techniques into a song like that. Guys, Akuna was just simply amazing yesterday. I don't know if you people actually saw or noticed the thing she was doing. How do I? How do I? Uh, guys, it was, it was just so sweet to listen to. And that is one thing I also love about Akuna. Akuna is one person that is a fighter. Whenever she comes onto that stage, she recognizes the fact that, hey, even though you are good, it is not in your hands. Even though you are the best, it is not left to you. Your amazing talent possibly cannot even help you to win the show. And so when she comes onto the stage, she comes with that attitude of, I am fighting for this. I deserve to be here. I must fight for my spot. And guys, for every time that she does that, I am not disappointed. I am always excited to see her bring something entirely different to the stage. In fact, guys, not just Akuna now, talking about all the other people I've talked about, Francis, um, Faith, Kingdom, Emmanuel, 
Akuna, these are the five people that I can confidently beat my chest and say that these people deserve to be in top five or rather top seven. Oh yeah, oh, after top seven, no, as it be, as it be, as it be, let their fans decide. But guys, these people, when they come to the stage, you see them coming with so much fight in them. And that is what it is. That is what it should be. Let's talk about comfort performance for a bit. Comfort really impressed me, to be honest. And this is the reason why she impressed me. The song that she performed, Beautiful by Christiana Aguilera, that song is a tough song to perform. Um, anybody that knows Christiana Aguilera would know that the texture of her voice is not easy to, um, should I say, um, recreate. Mm -hmm. Recreate. Christiana's texture, her voice texture, is completely different from comfort's voice texture and so when comfort picked that song i was quite disappointed because comfort's voice texture is very very light as light as a feather very very light comfort uses a combination of a nasal and a head voice and so when it comes to song choices i feel like the songs that she has been picking so far has been working for her because she has been going in the direction of oh see me's kind of songs it's been really working for her but her choosing um, that song, Beautiful, by Christina Aguilera last night, I just felt like that was a no-no. But when she introduced that song, that that's the song that she was going to be performing, you know, <laughs> I was scared. I was really, really scared for her because I felt like, oh my God, this song, will this girl be able to carry this song? And lo and behold, comfort did not disappoint me. And that is the beauty about performances. Now listen, you might not be able to carry a song, but the, the, the question is, how do you as a performer make that song your own? How do you um, make yourself comfortable singing that song? How do you make that song comfortable for your voice? That was exactly what Comfort did yesterday. She, she could not carry that song the way Christiana Aguilera did. And this is what she did. The backup singers came to our aid. The backup singers sang all the technical and difficult and very, very strenuous parts of the song for her. Yes. And so, Comfort <laughs> gave herself to the easier parts of the song. And it was beautiful to listen to. Although, there was no strength. You know, th there was no strength, there was no life. She just kept on singing, You are beautiful in every single way. Words can't bring me down. You know, she was just singing very, very light. And it, she was serenading us. And it was, it was sweet to the ears. But technically speaking, that song that comfort performed it was a wrong song choice i knew that yesterday the theme of yesterday was for the contestants to pick a song from the year they were born yes but i believe that in every year there are millions of songs out there that are popular that are created you know so but she really tried she really did well i did not expect her to deliver that song in that sweet way you know but the question is if christiana aguilera where to sing the song the way comfort sang it would people have bought it would it have been a hit song in that year i doubt anyways now moving on to the judges favorite let's talk about beyonce's performance for a bit i was actually avoiding talking about beyonce's performance because i noticed that the bulk of the people that actually support beyonce and come to my comment section to rant they just rant they literally do not come with very very strong reasons you know why they rant but i'm just gonna say it anyways you know we'll all be all right listen beyonce's performance yesterday was really really poor as a matter of fact last week performance from beyonce was like 10 times better than what she performed yesterday she looked beautiful of course her outfit her makeup everything was looking peng but a delivery of that song that rihanna song that she did yesterday guys it was it was poor frankly there is a huge difference there is a huge gap between the way beyonce performs and the way these other top five contestants actually performs i've already said it that francis faith kingdom emmanuel akuna the way they perform they perform like they are fighting for their lives they put in so much work they put in so much effort, they put in so much emotion, they put in so much soul, so much depth 
to their singing, to their performance, to their delivery, that when you listen to them sing, when you watch them perform, your spirit is lifted. You have no choice but to feel it in the depth of your soul. But this is how Beyonce and also Comfort actually performs. Well, more like Beyonce style. You know, I'm in my house and um, I just want to do some stuff in my house and I don't want to be bothered to turn on my stereo, my radio to listen to music. So I just want to serenade myself and vibe to my own voice, you know, and then I'm just going about my house like, Oh, happy day. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful girls all over the world. If you notice guys, I am singing like a jolly go fellow. I'm not even using my diaphragm at all to sing. I'm not even singing from my belly. I'm just vibing. That is exactly how Beyonce performs. She just vibes. She just makes sounds, you know. She does not really fight for a spot. She does not really put in a lot of energy. And listen, hey, a lot of you will come and say, oh, Gloria, you're dragging a 16-year-old. Ah, she's just 16, for God's sakes. She's just 16. I'm like, okay, calm down. Calm down. If Nigerian idols did not want 16-year-olds to come and stress themselves on the show, why would they allow 16-year-olds to even come on the show? So if she's there, then she has to be prepared for whatever comes. And it was interesting to see the judges really, really struggling not to sound too harsh to her because it was very obvious that they were not pleased at all. They were not impressed at all, you know, with Beyonce's performance. In fact, Shay Shay's face was looking stone dead, like, I'm angry, you know, but I don't even know how to express it, you know. And, you guys, uh, for a second, I could not really blame them because, hey, they actually started. And the fact is, from the beginning of the show, I mean, we've had different episodes of the show. This is, yesterday was actually the first time ever that the three judges at the same time will use the same words. You are struggling in some places. You are struggling in some places. They just did not have any other thing to say, or they actually had a lot to say, but so for, for some weird reason, they just could not open their mouth to say whatever they wanted to say or whatever needed to be said. And DJ Sose was so busy giving a lot of unnecessary advice to Kingdom yesterday that, oh, the mic, you were struggling with the mic, you should have removed it. I'm like, dude, if only you can use the same energy to correct comfort and Beyonce. They should have done better. They should be growing properly in the right way, vocally, performance-wise, on the show. But you don't, you just, you just, you're very, very calm when it comes to those people and then for the other people, you are hard on death. You know what, guys, listen, let me just leave it. Let me just leave it, but for me, oh, the game is on. And this is my prediction for next week. <laughs> you go shock or not? It goes shock on her that Beyonce will still be on that show. And the way it's going, Comfort might still be on that show. Do you know where the eviction is going to be coming from? It's going to be coming from any of those top five. Um, Faith, Francis, Kingdom, Emmanuel, Akuna. One of those people will be ev um, evicted or eliminated from the show. So if you are a fan to any of those five, five people, <laughs> you have a lot of work to do. <laughs> you need to vote. <laughs> they said it is the voting things that actually keeps those people on the show you know you need to vote you have a lot of work to do their talent is not going to keep them on the show anymore i mean we have gone past the stage of the talent sustaining them on the show listen somebody with a frog voice can literally come to that show and win so at this point in time the fans of those five people you people have a lot of work to do like you have a lot of voting to do and i feel so sorry for you guys you have a lot of voting to do because it goes shock on when we say next or this week sunday you will see beyonce she will scale through you will see comfort, they will skip. She better people that these people they will get to top three. <laughs> it's gonna be like film trick. <laughs> but it's gonna really hurt me, you know, if any of those people at this stage in the competition are eliminated. But that is left to the fans of those people. So <laughs> you know what to do. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, guys. Um, I look forward to reading your comments. You're amazing, wonderful <laughs> comments. And I'll see you guys on another episode of Frankie's Speaking with Glory. Have an amazing, amazing day. Bye.